Have you ever wondered what would happen if the queen ant the heart of an ant colony was suddenly poisoned? What kind of ripple effect would it have on the thousands or even millions of ants that depend on her? In the hidden underground worlds of ant colonies, the queen holds an essential position. She is not just the mother of all ants in the colony, but also the key to its survival and organization. Poisoning the ant queen might seem like a simple solution to get rid of an entire colony, but the aftermath of such an event is more fascinating and complex than most people expect. In this video, we'll dive deep into the extraordinary consequences of poisoning the queen ant. So let's start the video to understand what happens when a queen ant is poisoned, we must first understand her role. Contrary to popular belief, the queen ant doesn't command the colony like a royal figure barking orders. Instead, her power lies in reproduction. The queen's primary function is to lay eggs sometimes thousands per day, depending on the species. These eggs hatch into workers, soldiers, drones, and even future queens. Without her, the population of the colony would eventually begin to decline. Besides laying eggs, the queen produces pheromones, chemical signals that help maintain order and social structure within the colony. These pheromones influence worker behavior, suppress the development of other potential queens, and help keep the colony united. Now, let's imagine the queen ant is poisoned. This can happen in several ways. Sometimes, humans use ant baits that are laced with slow-acting toxins. The workers pick up the bait and carry it back to the colony, unknowingly sharing the poison with their nestmates and the queen. Alternatively, a predator might directly attack and kill the queen, or a natural substance like a fungus or pathogen might infect and kill her. In laboratory settings, scientists often simulate queen loss to study colony behavior. By selectively poisoning or removing the queen, they observe how the colony reacts in different scenarios. The results are often both startling and insightful, showing just how vital she is to the colony's dynamics. The immediate aftermath of the queen's death can vary depending on the species, the colony's size, and its developmental stage. However, one common reaction is confusion among the workers. The absence of the queen's pheromones disrupts the chemical communication network that keeps the colony functioning smoothly. Ants may begin to act erratically, and the carefully organized structure of the colony begins to break down. Workers might start searching for the queen or become more aggressive and disoriented. Some may begin wandering aimlessly, while others become hyper-defensive of the nest. The queen's death triggers a biological countdown. Since she is no longer laying eggs, the colony is living on borrowed time. The workers, drones, and soldiers already present in the nest will continue to live out their natural lifespans. This slow decline doesn't happen overnight, which makes it particularly interesting. For a while, the colony might seem stable, even thriving. Some colonies are polygynous, meaning they have multiple queens. The colony simply doesn't have the resources or time to raise a new queen. This behavior, known as queen execution, ensures that only the fittest queens survive. This evolutionary strategy highlights the brutal but effective ways nature maintains balance and ensures survival. Ants, despite their small size, are incredibly intelligent in the way they organize and sustain their colonies. So, what can we learn from this dramatic scenario? The story of poisoning the queen ant teaches us about the fragility and resilience of complex systems. Ant colonies are microcosms of society, highly organized, efficient, and dependent on collaboration. The queen, while just one individual, plays a central role in this system's survival. Poisoning the queen ant sets off a chain reaction that reveals the delicate balance holding an ant colony together. Her death affects reproduction, communication, behavior, and eventually, the very existence of the colony. And some colonies may adapt or recover, 
but in many cases, the loss is irreversible. Ants may be tiny, but their societies are vast, intelligent, and deeply connected. Taking out the queen is like pulling the pin from a grenade it may take time, but the damage is inevitable. Whether you're dealing with ants in your backyard or simply fascinated by insect behavior, the story of the queen ants poisoning is a powerful reminder of nature's intricacy and balance. Next time you see a trail of ants, remember they're not just bugs they're part of a complex system with one central figure holding it all together. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. Until next time take care.